Hey guys and gals, let's build the bird's nest by Lego Icons. This is set number 40639, contains 232 bricks. And this set was provided to me by a Lego group for review, and it retails for $12.99. Well, I already have everything unboxed here. Bag one, that's bag two, and this is bag three. And here's the book. Let's see what we got in here, and it just jumps right on into the build. <laughs> So that's pretty much what we get there. So bag one does the bird, bag two does the nest, and bag three does the baby chicks, and I don't know, I think that's all it does, that and the eggs. So let's dive right on into the build. So this will be three, we'll slide that over there, we're going to focus on this now. Uh, I'm on a deadline, I have to get this done, it's due in like a few days, so I need to get it get it completed so now we're going to begin with bag one so and this is one of those interludes that i did well this is i just finished up building the castle um you probably haven't seen it yet because i haven't uploaded all the uploaded all the parts but I, I got done with the castle. This is just a thing between the castle and the review. <laughs> so things will be out of whack here a little bit. I will have those updates shortly, and you'll be able to know if I was happy or was I depressed about building the rest of the castle. So let's see how far this set goes. You know, in terms of is it going to keep my interest and in stuff. So we're going to get it done. Now, I'm in kind of a hurry because I have a bunch of stuff that i got to do tomorrow. And it's a bedside build. I'm doing the whole thing in one sitting right now. So I don't really have a whole lot of time tomorrow to do Lego stuff. And things are not looking good. <laughs> and... Yeah, so this is something, a bit of a change. Now I'm always for these type of sets. Now this is, let's round it to $13. And you get 232 bricks. That's not too bad, in my opinion. But we don't know how good the build's going to be yet. And so far though, I didn't see any stickers. And the manual's easy to follow. It's, so far it's a 10. Nothing's gotten dinged yet. Okay, so hopefully that's a good start there for the set. So I want to get it done quickly here. And I try to enjoy the builds, but when you have a few days to get them done and you just got done with a big, massive Lego build, yeah. And I got a bunch more sets coming in. Uh, actually, it's a theme that I have built in the past. It was pretty good. We'll see how this round goes. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be something cold to build. It'll be really fun. And we'll have to come up with some story. Matter of fact, this one actually does have a good storyline with it, too. So it'll be very interesting to kind of see what I can come up with. What I can... Wait a minute. Hold on. I think I made a mistake here. Okay, I did. This 2x2 two two plate doesn't go on the back. And I just noticed something. There was no brick separator included with this so if you're not careful you will have to find one and i gotta find one real quick and with all the sets that i'm surrounded by i'm really surprised i didn't bring one over here with me so i'm not going to ding off because that's my mistake you know, i'm very fair about that i'm not going to but when we don't have a brick separator for such a, a very basic build, maybe it's a budget set, I don't know. Okay, I was like looking at the thing and that contour just didn't look right. Well, now we know. Okay. I think that goes there because I'm making sure. <laughs> and... Oh, I've never seen this brick before. So when I did the brick explorations, never mentioned these, but I've never seen these in orange. Okay. 
yeah, I'd like to get this done. Get some of my affairs that I have to do over the weekend. What I mean by that is chores and stuff like that. And engagements and stuff. Once I get all that going, I'd like to get on finishing up a building guide. Y'all remember the holiday minifigures? <laughs> I started working on that last week. And that, and I was doing a couple of tutorials. And just things kind of got haywire with doing set reviews and stuff like that. So I was just... I'm trying to fit everything in with my personal stuff and personal life things that go on. And lately, a lot of things have been kind of hectic around here and just haven't had a chance to really slow down lately. So, yeah, I've been trying to get caught up on this stuff here. Filming and building this stuff, like right now, I'm I'm filming this while I'm building. Okay, this is not the the this is not the labor part. This is the fun part of things. What makes it tough is editing, processing, sending it up to YouTube. Then after I send it up, I have to do all the metadata and. That's pretty much what kind of nails it out for me there. That's what kind of kills it off because trying to to get everything, you know, completed is a bit of a chore, especially when you have a life other than doing Lego stuff. So. Jay, Lego is your life. Yeah, not, not mine, to be honest. This is just something to get away from the computer. And, all right. Put this on the body here. And so far, it almost looks like a morning dove in a way. Or a parrot or something. But so far, this doesn't look too bad. It's nice, bright, and colorful. This is a nice spring-summer project here. I can see this being used for spring or summer. Yeah, I've been on a kick lately. Been watching some movies. Um, I'm always into the post. I think this other one goes on the other side here. Well, I don't see another one. Maybe it's something different. We'll wait. I've been watching a lot of movies, post-apocalyptic stuff. That's kind of what I'm into. Any of you have ever watched my backcountry camping thing? So I got to get some inspirations on some stuff. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I've been doing. Okay. See here, I can talk about other things. Okay, that goes like that. I think we're working on that side of the bird. Or I don't know. Matter of fact, this time I actually already have brushed my teeth and getting ready for bed. Matter of fact, the sets that I got from Lego, I, I thought I never had asked for them. Like, they didn't send me any info for them or something, but they're sending them to me for review. So, I'm going to review them. This is one of them. I thought I'd missed out on this offer here. No, it's right here. It's it's sitting right here on my desk. Okay, so it's the one one winged bird. <laughs> and I don't see another one by two plate in here. And I'm gonna check the other piles. Well, I don't know if anything fell on the floor. I don't see anything that did. Um, looking for a um, 
a one by two orange plate. Sometimes they'll get caught in the bags when I pour them out. And some of you, some of you guys and gals are like, hey, Jay, there's still parts in those bags. So let me take a look here. That would be in bag one, one of the bag ones. This, the set came with like two bag ones. And I don't see anything in there. So what do I do? I'm going to have to walk over and get some more parts. Take your pick. There we go. Now, it's hard to say if a part is truly missing or did it fall on the floor. I will look, and if it does, it would be kind of like an incomplete set and stuff like that. And that just reminds me, I just bumped the camera and I gotta read my disclaimers again. These are not professional reviews. Uh, if you get seasick real easy, you may not want to watch these videos as I tend to bump the camera um, and negative comments, rude comments, whatever, other than constructive criticism, not welcome, and it may result in a ban, so don't do it. And yes, I have to read all that off now because I've been experiencing that on here. And why do people take this seriously? I don't know. Okay, now we're getting the bird all complete. All right. So that piece may turn up, I don't know. And now we gotta do the other wing. So if you read ahead, you could probably build mirrors of all this stuff to speed up the build. Um, so I'm expecting this just to be a very quick one to get it out of the way. And we don't have to see it again. <laughs> that sounds kind of... Oh, Jay, why are you building it if you don't want to see it again? You know? And this one goes here. Did I put that in the right way? Yes, I did. And, of course, this goes right here. Well, I put a propeller on the front. It looked like a little micro build of an airplane. And that's it. So you just push these down like this. You know, you can make more of these in different colors. It'd be pretty cool. You have one extra eye left. Here's one of these in white. Okay, let's go back through and let's check that out. Because if I made a boo-boo, that is on me. Let's take a look here. There was a white one there. I mean, it could have gotten buried under there, too. Will I pull that apart? Probably not. So, no, maybe we can to troubleshoot it. Well, there's one easy way of doing it here. Step aside. That's where that piece went. It was from here. So, I made a mistake there in the build, but you won't see it with that on there. So, that right there is my fault. So, the, I don't ding down points for my mistakes. That wouldn't be fair. I'm a very fair guy when it comes to doing reviews. Okay, and that's what's left. So now we're going to go to bag two, which is the nest. So, this is an interesting plate here. You can use this for making platforms or terrain or... or Maybe a square plate for a meal. I don't know. <laughs> and yes, we got to use some brittle brown here. Yes, I got contacted by a big stop motion builder or a brick filmer wanting to know if he could use some of my builds and his stuff. I'm like, sure. As long as I get credit, I don't care, really. You know, and that goes for anybody on here. If, you know, you can use my stuff as long as you mention my name either in the credits or in the description of a video. I'm all for that. Hey, I was inspired by Jay. Jaystifer inspired me to build this, you know. And I'm pretty flexible about that. Sometimes I'll get a copyright match for somebody who just uses my idea. And YouTube thinks they copied it. I'm like, wait a minute. I read the description, I'm like, oh, well, they cited my name, I don't care. Ignore. <laughs> you know? 
and I just go on to the next one. And it's, it happens a few times out of the year. I had a friend of mine who did that, and he warned me in advance, and the next thing you know, I think it was like a, a, a week later, I looked in there, and there was his video, and I watched it and stuff like that. So as long as, they, as long as somebody gives me credit, I don't really care, you know. There was another guy I remember years ago that made my school bus, but in a post-apocalyptic bus. <laughs> Looked really cool, too. And I thought, oh, it's nice to see my builds and somebody else's, you know, with their own creations built in with it, too. What's even, what's even weird is seeing my pickup truck, my campers, all this stuff built. And, and seeing it in somebody else's Lego city or collection, I'm like, oh, that's what that looks like in a city. <laughs> you know? I'm not much of a city builder, but it's kind of cool, though. Okay, now we got to build some duplicates here. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty fair about that. When, when it comes to the copyright stuff, I always check that stuff manually. I never just jump to conclusions because that wouldn't be fair. All right, so you actually have to stack the jumper plate on like that. And I gotta find one more of those. All right, yeah, I'm still kind of getting my bearings straight after doing that whole castle set. Um, you haven't seen the whole thing yet, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very big set indeed. But did it keep Jay's interest? Okay, these go like this here. Okay, we got this square plate, but why is it... Hold on. I'm missing something. Oh, wait a minute. I skipped a whole step. Whoops, there were supposed to be corners on that there. Well, let's just tack those in real quick. Here I do these big hard sets and I can't do something simple as making a bird or a bird's nest. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now we gotta find a turntable. Snap that right in there and set that there. There we go. And... Hoping you can see everything. Yes, you can. I just got to keep it there. Um... Oh, um... So this is right after I finished the last portion of the castle and I was talking about what I had for dinner which I made some steaks and stuff and yes I made steak and it was pretty good <laughs> and I get some grub I to fix a dinner tonight now we got a cake three of these whoops and I put that in the wrong space I need to get a brick separator. Yes, if you're building this, you will need a brick separator. And I'd say that's probably the set's only downfall right now is a brick separator. So if this is your first set and you don't have a brick separator, uh, don't use a butter knife or a steak knife, box cutters, scissors, whatever. Don't, don't use your teeth. <laughs> Hollow stud and a stem. So that does come with a lot of stems too. And I mean for $13, it's not bad so far. It's, I'd say so far the build's average to good. It's keeping my interest. It's not boring me. I'm not getting tired of it. It's not like I just want to hurry up and get it done. It's actually pretty interesting. Okay, making sure it's in the right place. I, I mean, honestly, it looks like just a mess. <laughs> no, 
I notice I'm kind of drifting off instructions a little bit here. It means I'm kind of just jumping all over the place. I need to stop doing that. that goes there. All right, you know what? Um, hold on. All right, I'm messing up now. I gotta go back now. I forgot about step 39 is these go in the corners here. So what they're trying to do is simulate leaves and branches, twigs, and of course some new growth in there as well. Now I'm not a fan of these just hanging in there. They could have done something a little better here to kind of lock those corners in a bit more. I don't really like that at all. Okay. And making sure it looks like the picture. And yes, even it's offset here. So let's make a flower arrangement. This has got two purple or two dark pinks and a light pink here. This must not be in a typical tree. It's got to be in something maybe, maybe a, I mean, I know there's trees that have flowers and stuff, but boy, that's kind of uh, tricky to get that in there. All right. Now we're going to do this side. I got to focus and pay attention on this one here. Make sure I got that in the right area. So I say the only downfall so far is a lack of a brick separator. And this set is built by an adult, so this is an adult set today. I know some have said, well, this is a kid's toy. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of us adults that buy it, and too, it's got adult price tags attached to it. <laughs> Lego's not cheap. It was, and honestly, when I was a kid, a sixty-dollar set was a really big chunk of money. So Lego is still, uh, it's not cheap today. Two thousand twenty-three money, and oh, and today is the um, today's the twentieth of January two thousand twenty-three. I think this will be released on the twenty-third. Okay. All right, so now we have to make a twig. And if you're like me and you get the shivers messing with brittle brown, yeah, you are not alone. It's new brittle brown, but we don't know if it's going to stay brittle or it's going to behave itself. Why isn't this brown? Kind of odd to have a gray piece all of a sudden. Well, we can't complain. That'll last for a very long time. Um, and then we need a pink flower and another. These are actually a round plate with leaf. A one by one plate with leaf. It's pretty much, I think that's, or with plant. Number something. Okay, so this goes here. So, except for the, that color there, just kind of, maybe we're going to cover that up or something. And you're going to have to make four of those little boogers. Well, guess what we'll be doing? You guessed it. And 
There's really no efficient way to put these on there. Just don't jam them in. Just rotate them on. The reason being is, is you could bend these stalks. I broke a few of them, the limb pieces. You just want to rotate your flowers and just stick them on there. Okay. And then we got to stick this on there like that. And we got to make four of these little assemblies. So let's get to that real quick. Just rotate it on. Because if I try pushing this down here, see how it just doesn't want to go in? Just rotate it on like you're screwing it on. Okay? That's how I usually do it. You don't want to break your pieces. Well, Jay, they give this stuff to you. Why does it matter? Because I want to use those parts for something else. And I want to run out and buy any more. So I take good care of my Lego parts. Okay, that's three, and we got one more left. So, I don't think this is going to be too bad of a build. Whoops, see, I thought I bent that there. Went a little too aggressive with it. These going pretty easy here. And those, where do we start? So what I'm gathering here is, they just clamp onto here. You may have to move your leaves and stuff around a bit. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't really show where these last two are, but I think they're in between this, these leaves. So I'm just going to shove them in there and just be like, okay, we're done. We, it doesn't have to match exactly like the picture. There we go. And step 44 is the bird. And the bird just sits on the jumper plate where it's one brick hanging over so how do you put this on here you just press it down like that it's meant to do this and that and make sure it watches everything it's got to be alert at all times <laughs> and this is what we have remaining not too bad a lot of nice little pieces i could use there and well, I gotta find a place to put those. I don't have a container. Let's begin bag three. <laughs> like I said, I'm doing it all in one sitting here. And I gotta make sure that I'm still recording here. Yes, okay. So bag three looks like we're building the chicks and the eggs and stuff that go inside there. And so far, the build's been pretty good. Nothing hard. I just wish it had a brick separator with it, but we're not grading on the brick separator. We're only grading on the build experience on this set. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a look here. I think there's two chicks that we have to build because if they are, I'm going to check, take a look, and if they're pretty much the same... Yeah, their wings are facing different ways. All right, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to start just building. The thing is they're in different colors. Okay, let's not make it complicated. Um... Well, it looks like they're the same color anyways. Does it really matter? I don't think it does. I'm just going to start building them and see what happens. Why not? Let's have a little fun with this here. The whole point about it is just to make the sets fun and enjoyable. All right. I don't see any other type of 
flame orange or yellows or anything like that, so I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, but I can't wait to get the next batch of sets. I'm hoping by then I'll squeeze in a few review or reviews. I've already done enough of those. A uh, bunch of tutorials in there, too. I got a couple of them that I'm working on. One of them involves a light brick, but um, I need to go and order a set of batteries for the light bricks. You know, to get to make sure those are fully charged and I'd like to get some chargeable batteries for them, but I don't think they have them for the light bricks. Okay, we need one of these tan ones here. And so far, if those have been keeping up with me talking about vacation and stuff like that, no, I haven't had anything canceled yet, but I'm getting a lot of close calls and so far. But I'm not holding my breath. And I'm not going to leak out when I'm <laughs> going out because I don't want somebody to hear it and go, Jay, I need you to write me up a piece of code real quick. <laughs> so I don't think anybody I know watches these. Let me make sure here. I'm just going to doubly check here. Okay, there is slight subtle differences with this one. Okay, one of these has an open beak. All right, so it's like this. So I'm going to work from that one right there. So I'm just going to flip back and forth a few times. Like I said, though, I'm, I'm on a deadline and I have to get this done. So I have to do it as swiftly as I can. If that means I have to build pairs and stuff like that, I will. And the eyes. Obviously, we get plenty of these. I don't think that looks right. I think they mean right there. They're saying put the eyes on first, or, you know, put the little disc on there. I'm not going to do that. And the reason being is... Well, I don't even know what the reason is. I just want to fix up for bed here okay now let's put the little eyeballs on there and I'm just gonna have the eyeballs facing straight out the only thing we didn't use is some kind of bind piece for the little worm I don't think there's worms I think we just have colored eggs now like I said though when I do these type of reviews these are considered, I call them time waster sets. That's basically essentially that's what I'm doing is I'm kind of killing off some time right now in between builds. Um, once I get the castle reviewed, I'm going to probably do the Queer Eye set. I'm trying to get this stinking eyeball lined up there. I'm going to do the Queer Eye set. And then there was that one set Lakel gave me as a gift. The uh, Friends set, that fireplace, that big giant fireplace set. So I'm going to be doing that one too. And we got to make two wings. So I'm assuming that we're making four. Now, if you're watching this, you don't have to do what I'm doing and, and just build like how I'm doing it here. You can take your time. Even something as simple as a set like this. Like, I don't know what the age limit of this set is. Let's see here. This is rated for 9+. plus. 
<laughs> well, no wonder why I'm messing up. Okay. And then they use one of these here for the stand at the bottom. And I need to put that on there first. Not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack the review on to the back of this one here as well. This is going to be remained on this channel here. For those who want the full review flavor, I'll leave it on here because this is a short video. And then the next bird is the same thing like this. The only thing they changed is the beak right here. So everything else is essentially the same. Okay, and I mean, that's easy enough right there. I mean, step 74 is just this whole thing. Those make great balloons, let alone... I, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, cool, we're getting different... We're getting new colors of eggs. No, we're getting this, st this style of egg. <laughs> well, the eggs are just as big as the bird. Okay, and I believe that that's what's remaining there. And now we got to put all the stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is just fix everything to the bill. Now the reason why I like to fix things down, okay, is to kind of secure everything so nothing's really rolling off and stuff like that. So these just sit in there, and I'll just try to copy the picture as best I can more like propane tanks inside the bird's nest. <laughs> Jay, you and your propane tanks. Yeah. Oh, somebody fell out of the nest. I'm glad it's on a flat table. It's not a it's not a hundred feet up in the air. And this one here I can just set on here. Like that. And that takes care of the build. And there's a list of parts. Very colorful. Oh, there's more parts in the back. I didn't really ever show the parts. And that concludes the build portion. So, well, let me pick all these up here. We did get a good chunk of pieces here. A lot of this little stuff, like the foliage pieces and the one by one plates, will always come in handy. And let's see if I can find me an empty container here. And that's pretty much about it. So I'm going to go ahead and tack the final final review on the back of this one here. So you'll hear me talk about my thoughts and then we'll do that, all right? So I'll be right back. Now that the bird's nest is all assembled, let's take a closer look. So here we have two little chicks and these can remove... That one sits on a jumper plate. This one's just hanging off of the stud right here. And they're just brick-built little animals or birds. This one's got its wings open. And this one here has got his beak open. So you could just attach them pretty much anywhere if you want. Let's get this little guy here back on that stud. And we got the bird in the back here. And sadly, he can only say no. He can barely nod his head for yes. And we do have three colored eggs. We have a red, a green, and a blue, which is pretty cool. And in addition, we got the nest, and there's a lot of things hanging off of this, and twigs, and leaves, and flowers, and stuff like that. So let's just take a quick spin of this here. My turntable is occupied, so I can't use that right now. And for the most part, it is a really nice bird and he even flops around too so that's probably why they used the turntable plate i don't want to take a risk of pulling him off so i'm just gonna leave him there and that's pretty much for the dime tour on this build so let's dive right on into the review build experience it kept my interest and it was fun to put together honestly this was not really a bad build 
instructions were straightforward, easy to follow. Just that's all I can say. It was this is a nice little project for spring to summer months. Now, from what I gather though is that the build is broken down into three pieces. But I think this is more of a solo build, which means only one person could build this. Or maybe you could have up to three people. One person could build the nest. Bag two, well, no, bag one does the bird, so this is isolated here. Bag two does the nest, and bag three does the two chicks and the eggs. So maybe, maybe you can get three people to build this, and it would only take probably ten minutes to put it together. So, which leads to build quality now. Is it pretty sturdy? Yeah, with the stud flowers, I was kind of struggling a little bit to put these on. I had to twist the flowers on. They were seemed kind of stiff, and I feel like I was breaking the stalks off, so I was being very careful. And this just seems a bit loose, and these little birds are just barely hanging on here. This one's on a jumper plate. This one's just hanging off of a stud. So I think this is meant more to be admired, which leads to play value. What's the playability of this set? Could you play with this? You probably could. You know, I, I don't know, unless you're really into bird stuff, but I... I think it's just meant to sit on a table and look good. So play value may be a little lacking there. Could this be dropped in a city? Not really, unless you make a float or something. To put it on a float would be pretty cool. Now for mocks, you could make different colors of birds, make different nests. Like if you got a large tree, it'd be pretty cool. So indeed, you could just make different styles of birds. This is a good inspirational piece here if you want to do that. So I say it would be great for a mock. So I'd say it's pretty good for mocks. Good mock inspiration. Is the set worth twelve dollars ninety nine cents? Well, let's round it up to thirteen dollars. You get two hundred thirty two bricks, and the build is bright and colorful. It kept my interest. So that's pretty good for that price. I'd say thirteen dollars for probably thirty the forty minute build. That's not too bad. And a lot of these pieces, though, you could use for other builds. Like the flowers. Like for me, I could use the flowers. I could use the slopes. All that stuff. So I'd say that this is a pretty decent set. Now, do I recommend it? I really can't answer that question. But for me personally, if you like a nice spring-summer build, there you go. It's only 13 bucks right there. Even for an adult such as myself, it kept my interest. It was fun to put together. So... You can just wiggle the bird around and stuff. So I think this would be good for like putting on a desk or something like that. Just to add a little color. Maybe to like a shelf or a filing cabinet or something like that. I don't know anybody who uses filing cabinets anymore. But honestly though, it is a nice build nonetheless. Especially for spring summer months. Tell me what you think. Is this an interesting build? Do you think it's worth the $12.99? Let me know in the comments below.